Right then, are you ready for this one? So it says express tan squared in terms of secant. Okay, so that bit's moderately straightforward. So, oops, change color. So I've got 2 tan squared minus 1 over cos theta. So I know then that, um, so I think I've got it. What have they done here? Hang on, I'm going to pause. I don't get what they've done. Oh, yeah, I got you now. Right, so we're going to change the tan squared into the secant squared minus 1. And then I've got a secant there. So I've got a 2 secant squared theta minus 2 minus secant theta. So I've got a quadratic in the right order there. So that's part A. Part B says, hence solve it. Now it looks exactly the same, but I've got a 2x minus 30. So for part B, I'm going to solve 2 secant squared 2x minus 30 minus 1 over cos of 2x minus 30. So that, what it does is it just changes what I had in my answer. So I've got, in part A, I've got a 2 secant squared 2x minus 30 minus secant, no, no, can't put it up there, no, 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 minus 2 is 0. So if I put that into poly, oh, sorry. So we'll put into poly with a 2 minus 1 and a minus 2. That's going to give me out a 2, and it's going to give me out a minus 3 over 2. So that's for secant of 2x minus 30. And secant of 2x minus 30. So let's make sure we're okay with that one because I made a mistake. So I've got, I've changed it all in terms of secants and secant squared, so I've got polynomial. Part B changes the theta into a 2x minus 30. So everything's the same. I've got the polynomial, I've got the quadratic, uh, but now it's got a 2x minus 30 in it. I've just put it into poly and I've got some numbers. So secant is 1 over cos, so if I flip it, cos of 2x minus 30, so that's 2 over 1, so that becomes a half. And then cos of 2x minus 30 is minus 2 thirds. Right, now then, let's have a think about this then. Let's do the inverse cos bit first. So 2x minus 30 is the inverse cos of a half. There. Well, that will give me, so 2x minus 30... That gives me 60 degrees. Now, on the cos graph, you do the value and you do 360 minus it. So your other value will be 60 and it'll be 300. Now, what I could do here at this point is just graph that and find out where they cross each other. That's what I can do. Right, so let's have a look. So 2x minus 30 is the inverse cos of minus 2 thirds. Now that will give me 131 points. So 2x minus 30 is 130, I've lost it, 1.8. Now the other value will be 360, take it away. So it'll be 228. Two, two, eight, point two. Same idea, what I could have done was once I've got to there, I could have just graphed this. So I could have graphed y equals cos of 2x minus 30. I could have graphed y equals minus 2 thirds. And what my x is set to? Where are we? 0 to 180. So I could have had x going 0 to 180 and see what we get out. Right, so if I add 30 onto these values and then divide them all through, what I get is a final answer. Uh, so that's going to be. That's 945, so 331, 65, 
1,350, 1,60, yeah? And then for these ones, so what have I got? So I've got 161.8 divided by 2 is 80.9. And then 228, add on the 30s, 252, sorry, 258.2. Half that, 125, 129.1. There, there we go. There. So I've done it all the way through and I've used the symmetry, but what I could have done is once I got the principal values out, I could have just cheated and gone on my calculator. Unless it tells me otherwise. Right, that's done now. Well done, everybody. Right.